While we were at UCLA, one of the things we spent a lot of time on was the mind game. And when you have 15, 18 student athletes, everybody approaches it differently. And I think one of the things I want you to know is everybody is struggling with the voices in their head. And what does that sound like? Well, on your good days, you're like, oh, I got this. I own that opponent. I'm ready. That weak voice that always seeps in, you're not good enough. You're not strong enough. You're not smart enough. And so we spend time talking about, hey, everybody has both, but what we had to work hard on is being aware of how much that weak voice was controlling the conversation in your head. What are some of the things that you think about in your head? Have you ever listened to your strong voice or your weak voice? One of the things that you can do, it's a great activity, doesn't take that long, grab a piece of paper. On the left side, put strong voice. On the right side, put weak voice. And I want you to write down all your strong thoughts about yourself. Then on the other column, put your weak voice. I want you to write down all your weak voice statements. When you look down on the paper, do you see that you have a lot on the weak side and maybe not as much on the strong side? It's okay if you're like that, but this gives you an opportunity to actually see it. And not only just in sport, but you can go through this activity in your life in general. Be more mindful of how you speak to yourself. A quick tip to get better at your self-talk is what we call best friend advice. Have you ever been in those situations where your best friend comes up and she's got a problem or he's got a problem and you as the best friend say, hey, you're good enough, you're big enough, you're strong enough, you're so confident, you're so believable and you help your friend out. Isn't it crazy that we don't use our own best friend advice with ourselves? Imagine if you had your own best friend in your brain when you're beating yourself up. Start using your best friend advice. And just remember, always let that strong voice get the last word and speak nicely to yourself.